More of your electricity could soon be coming from solar power or other renewables. The state is pushing to expand renewable energy to get 80% of our electricity from those sources by 2030. So on Tuesday, the Governor and Public Utilities Commission approved 17 new projects they say will move closer to that goal. And they'll create some jobs too. Here's New Center Maine's Don Carrigan. Across busy Route 196, back in the woods and not far from a CMP power line, a Massachusetts company called Glenvale hopes to build an 18 megawatt solar energy project. It could look like the one built two years ago in Pittsfield, sending electricity to the grid through CMP. Thousands of panels costing millions of dollars, made possible in part by a new solar energy ordinance in Topsom that planner Andrew Deasy says is also bringing two smaller projects. Pleasantly surprised. I, I think we knew that there was an opportunity here, but we didn't know how actively it would be pursued. It's being pushed statewide. The Topsom project is one of 17 approved statewide by the Public Utilities Commission. Most are big solar projects, but there are also wind, hydro, and biomass projects, totaling around 500 megawatts. PUC Chairman Phil Bartlett says it is a big deal for Maine. It demonstrated how much renewable energy potential there is out there in the state of Maine. We had over 70 bidders uh, presenting proposals to us, so there's a lot of potential renewable energy development that can still happen in the years ahead in Maine. The Thompson Project is one of three approved for Glenvale from Massachusetts. Company founder Aidan Foley says the new interest is the result of a new state law passed last year to encourage more solar development. He says that, plus new technology, make Maine a good location year-round. So we're using module solar panels that generate energy um, from light on both sides of the panel. So when there's a when there's a snow on the ground and light reflects off the snow into the back of the solar panel, we're going to generate electricity on both sides of the solar panel. Most of these projects won't be built right away. The Public Utilities Commission set a price for the electricity, but Foley says the developers still need to negotiate contracts with the power companies, then take care of all their state and local permits, final financing and other details. He says they hope to begin construction in around two years. And Phil Bartlett says Maine should be seeing a lot more projects like it. Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.